Jeffrey. Shut the fuck up. Together again to entertain and play games. Welcome back. We're the two bit players. Hey guys, I'm Jeffrey. I'm Noah. We're the two bit players and we're playing Jack and Daxter, the precursor saga. The origin. precursor Noah's stuck in the precursor basin. Uh, and what are we doing? We're, what do you think we're doing, Jeffrey? We're, um, I was gonna say jacking off, but uh, mm. I couldn't think of another jack pun. That wasn't jacking down. There you go, that's, jackin that's three episodes in a row. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck, bro. So I need to, oh, so that's what it meant by herd the moles into their hole. Oh, I thought that was a sexual thing. No, oh. it's a quite literal thing, except those are the, I mean, they're, they're precursor moles. Cause I was gonna be like, tell me doctor, like where are we going this time? <laughs> where are we going this time? There we go. Is this um, the 50s? Or right is in it? 1999. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're the, did we say we're the tuba players? Yeah, dude, oh. I remember oh I hit you. Oh my God, no, Jesus. stop everything. Okay, we're back. Sorry, my dog was freaking out. He's a little on edge right now cause Jeffrey and I just beasted like a 400 pound desk. Fuck, yeah, dude, we uh, beasted. <sighs> what do you think they think that means? <laughs> like we just beasted, like we just built one? Sexually dominated? <laughs> he just pounded it into oblivion. Um, no, we removed it from your apartment. And yeah. uh, the cool thing is you live on the fourth floor. Right, so we so, had to go and down. And it's snowing outside. Mm. And we could only take the escape, uh, what's it, the Shaft. fire escape uh, stairs outside the window. <laughs> uh, and uh, it sucks, bro. Absolutely. Uh, no, we, but we, all that is... Like twenty percent of that is true. Right. So if <laughs> if if normally Nigel is only mildly traumatized when Jeffrey arrives to record, he fucking but hates me. now that Jeffrey's shown up and we've been very loudly moving a gigantic desk around the apartment, moving chairs out of the way, slamming doors, moving it you know down the hallway where uh -huh. we can hear him barking for miles. Oh my god! Yeah, he was very upset. Oh gosh! You already did this. No, but there's a thing to get. Actually, I think I was going past it. There's more stuff to do. What are you doing? I feel like we've already done this. We've done part of it. It's just so freaking tedious. Yeah, well, yeah, because this thing is like all <laughs> slippy and slidey. It's like, I just want I just want good platforming and, and, and good good jackster controls. See, this is like, when I think of like a platform game, uh huh. I think of like this. Wah! This and Ratchet and Clank. You think of this frustration? Uh, no, not this. This is actually a bad time to mention it. When but. I think of platforming, I think of the Zoomer. What the fuck is that? I'm assuming that's what that's what I started calling this little thing that we're oh, on. Oh, that's your. I'm not own sure if it's actually called a zoomer, but I don't know. Watch me next season on Shark Tank. When you invent the zoomer. The zoomer. And then Naughty Dog sues you. Yep. Here we go. Um, but like I like this kind of platform game. Not as much, obviously, Donkey Kong 64, Banjo Kazooie oh, 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 platform. There it is. Mm -hmm. This one is more. This one feels more like. Uh, conquers bad for a day. Right, there's a progression of a story. You don't go into a yes. world and it's like, here, do 10 things and, and then, then just never go come to the back. next. And, and like one thin plot line and then you're just going through all these worlds to get to your sister who's abducted by the witch, which is fine. But like uh, Conquer was like every world was like a, there was like, like a short like movie, like a, like its own kind of thing. And this has like, this, is, this doesn't go to different worlds, though, does it? Well, you have the different areas of the island. That are, like, themed. Different. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of like Banjo-Kazooie then, huh? But this is more, like, plot lining and more, like, tasks and quests and, like, uh, I don't know. I just like Story the points? Yeah, I like this progression mode. That's why I love Sly Cooper. Mm. I love those games. Um, oh wait, God. speaking of when I said the word island, I thought of, uh, I watched the first two episodes of The Island. I land? I land on our plane ride. Holy shit, that is bad. It's shocking, dude. I was shook. I watched the whole thing in two days, three days? I watched it with Tim. <laughs> dude, it was... It's, it's, I, I didn't think it would be this bad. I, my mouth was agape the entire time. It was Wait till you get to the last line of the last episode, You told bro. me about it. Did I tell yeah. you? I could not fucking believe it. I was like, now are you calling me dumb? Like, <laughs> it's horrible. And that show cost, um, how many episodes Oh, was thank it? God. I think it was it's like, 10. It was like 2 million bucks an episode. What? That's like $20 million. It's absurd. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, the island... 
island, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I, it's island. The island. I could tell you what it is actually called, but I would ruin the last. You'd line ruin, of the, ruin last. the the greatest plot point. The greatest plot twist in uh, cinema history. Since the village. Since oh god. Um, Don't get me started on how much I love the village. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I like the village. I know. We saw it for your birthday. We did. That's why I loved it. Um, because you, you spend it with good people, good mm -hmm. times, good memories. Mm -hmm. Why can't um, I get this guy in the hole? And didn't we make a movie that day? Yeah. We made like three movies that day. Yeah. We were so inspired. We were inspired by M. Night Shyamalan um, on his But yeah, decline. God, that thing, like... Literally n none of it makes sense. It reminds me no. of a script written, which is funny. It's written by Neil LeBute, which is... I know the name, and I thought he was, like, a famous playwright, but mm. I didn't recognize anything on his on his Wikipedia. Mm. Um, but I know the name. Anyways, it sounds like something that was in, like, our freshman year film class written. Like, literally one of the lines is... Like, one of, like somebody in the class wrote it, like, yeah. in high school? Yeah. Like, someone... That was our senior year. Well, whatever. I'm equating it to a freshman year screenwriting class okay. <laughs> for non-majors. Oh, college freshmen. Sure. Or high school freshmen. There's a big difference. Doesn't matter. Talking about? It does matter. We're well, talking. One is 13. <laughs> the other's like 18. We're talking about a script written by 13-year-olds. Okay, Let's just go right. with that. Gotcha. And um, yeah, one of the lines is literally like, "Oh, I'm just gonna go over here." Yeah. No, it's horribly written. And at one point, horrible dialogue. In the very first episode, with like the sexual assault. He's oh, like, yeah. they get to the the waterfalls, and he's like, "Oh, yeah. we could live here. There's plenty. Of, there's plenty of food and the water." And I'm like, "What food? Yeah, you've never shown nothing. you eating anything. Yeah, you just ar no arrived in this <laughs> glen, and you're like, oh yeah, there's plenty of things to eat. Obviously, water. Hey, le I'm gonna try and rape you now. Yeah, it was it like is so aggressively so random. God. Uh, and that same actor, he says the word inland. Huh? We need to move inland. I suppose the inland? Inland. I yeah. mean, maybe that's a regionalism. I don't know. I wish you had watched this like two months ago when I watched it because I don't remember half of these little oh, micro Jesus. points. Oh, Jesus. God, it was so bad. But I remember going on and on and on about it. And, um. Wait. It's, it, 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 like, it like tries to be like lost, but it, where like it has these weird cliffhangers. It gets. Oh, dude. Oh, and then when they're like, oh, I found out that. Each of our bodies on the on the island were exactly thirty nine steps yeah. between each other, yes. and suddenly that's like the canon, the gospel of the island. Even though he's just some dude, and he's like, yeah, I kind of you know balanced it out for varying stride length and varying uh -huh. size and foot shapes and yeah, things like that. But yeah. it's about thirty nine steps exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Did they get to the part where they realized they were there was things buried under them? Yeah, and that girl picks up the book that says the mysterious island. She's like, "Fuck this!" and just yeah, like, and like throws, throws it, away. it into the water. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" And I, I love the beginning oh, where they like wake up and they're like, "What's going on?" And uh, and then like eight minutes, like twenty minutes in, some chicks like sunbathing. Yeah. And I'm like, do you guys have food? But water? S but anything? six minutes in, the two women like meet each other for the first time. Yes. She's like, hey, what's going on? She's like, I don't know, you fucking bitch. Yeah. And then you're like, what? Yeah. what? She's like aggressively angry towards women. Um, they like explain her dislike of the distrust of women. She did say some line about it, but it doesn't make any sense. They go into more detail, but it's so weird because she's like, oh, I got this conch. I got this knife, and she's like, yeah, well, that's my conch now, bitch. Oh. She has to fucking steal her conch. Hey! Oh, I missed the thing, damn it. You suck, dude. But I got all I the things, I was excited though. about the 200, though. Well, I was excited about the conch, because it got me thinking where she's like, oh, help, someone's injured, and she grabs the conch and blows, like, a perfectly melodic, Yeah. <laughs> from it. Like, she'd been practicing, dude. Oh, my God. It, it is... Did your phone just go off? My phone just went off. Who just texted you? It dude? heard the call of the conch and it said, I <laughs> will respond. Um, but dude, everyone should watch it. It's so bad. Dude, you're only two episodes in. Wait. But I like don't want to watch it. It's it's a it's a very precarious position I'm in. It's weird. It, 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 there's episodes that are more Ah <sighs> You gotta hit the NAS, dude. I don't have NAS. There are episodes that are more entertaining than others, like in a bad way. Okay. And there are episodes that are just kinda like boring, you kinda gotta slog through a little bit. But like it's kind of worth it when it's all said. I think it's eight episodes. I want to say it's only like eight episodes. That's merciful. Um, and it's kind of worth getting through it because it is. It's just shocking, like how something so stupid can get made. 
Do you ever see um, uh, Superman Returns? No. The one with Brandon Reith? Hey, hey, we got it. Brandon Reith? I don't know who that is. Brian Singer? No. You know Brian Singer? I, hold on Direct one second. What? Direct Return to the geologist. Are, are we still live? Yeah, I'm just looking at on what I'm internet? doing. Um, hmm. Brian Singer directed X-Men. Okay, sure. X-Men 2. Days of Future Past. Yeah, why not? Apocalypse. He directed Superman Returns, which was a sequel to Superman 2. Okay. Christopher Reeves. Fair. And ignored 3 and 4. You didn't see that movie? I haven't seen you it. You never even heard of it? The only Superman about movie. 2006. The, what movie? <laughs> Superman Returns. Oh, yes. Clearly. Duh. Anyways. Not the, an idiot. The lady that played Lois Lane on that mm -hmm. was uh, the, the, the woman that doesn't trust Kate Bosworth. Oh, really? And she uh, she was like 22 in Superman Returns. Jeez. She's got like a six-year-old kid or whatever. Huh. Um, it's her. Here's a photo. Oh, okay. She doesn't look as good anymore. What? <laughs> I just wanted to point out. Oh. She's not as... Stop objectifying these women, Jeffrey. I'm just saying, she looked real good 10 years ago. Okay. Now well, she looks... I'm out of here. Terrible. How do I... She got... Depart. Maybe she looks fine, right? But I just... Her character was so gross in that show. There you go. You saved it. That I just couldn't... I couldn't look... I, could, I just had to look at her inner beauty... And I hated her. Let's talk to this geologist. I can say if I find a woman unattractive. No, that's racist. How is that? How is is that offensive? If I like, oh yeah, she just doesn't look as good anymore. It happens all the time in Hollywood. It's true because that's where we live. Hey! hey! Yeah, have you gotten four achievements this episode? I haven't gotten a single achievement actually. I'm sorry. My bad. What? Trophy. No. Oh wait, wait. I can do things here. There's these guys. Wait, what does he have to say? Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. It has twisted the fate of It has twisted the fate of one of you. I wonder which one. Yeah. The one that fell into the dark ooze. Or the one that worships Satan. Yes. For your quest. Okay, power cell. Can I give more orbs for another power cell? You already have all the orbs. You have 200. Oh. You can't get more orbs in this. <laughs> hey, here we go. Hey! I only have so many collectible sound effects. I literally <laughs> have like six of them. And, uh... I like that you've been sprinkling those in there. Yeah. Um, All right, well, 32 power cells. That's pretty respectable, right? That's a pretty good spot to end this episode. Thanks for the view. Now comment, like, and subscribe, because we're all just two-bit players.